Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a personalised dummy clip. Okay then, we're going to do a two name personalised dummy, dummy clip. I'm going to put the beads on a length of ribbon. This is quite a long length of ribbon. I would say it could be about two and a half feet long, quite easily. We need it because when I, I'm going to leave a loop about that much, or maybe that much, so then it can be threaded through the ring of the dummy and then um, threaded back on itself like that so then it can be taken off if the dummy needs to be cleaned or sterilised but anyway you'll see when we when we've made it okay first things first then I'm going to make my knot in my ribbon again I'm going to if you saw my other tutorial of a key ring, this is the same thing. So I'm going to put a nice knot about there. And hopefully the beads won't. Okay, because it's pink and it's for a girl, I'm going to use some pink. Pink and lilac. We'll use some white. Um, and I'm going to use a white for the middle of the names. But I might change my mind yet, so <laughs> we'll see. And it's quite a lot quite long so you're going to need a lot of beads so we'll have somewhere and we've got white we'll have a white there and white there that's just to give you a, an idea of how and how it's made right I normally have a little bit of trouble with threading this through and I've come up with an idea of using some sellotape does it matter if the ribbon if the lengths of the ribbon aren't the same doesn't matter at all because once you you cut this piece off it will be you can pull them through then and it'll be fine so there we go so that's how I've done my my end so we'll start with a white and we'll thread that through I use pony beads because you can get it threaded better. So there we've got a white. Our next is a pink. Put those down there like that. Oh, we use, we'll use a lilac. I've missed the dark one, so let's have the dark one as well. Oh, that one's come out of the sellotape. Let's try and pop it back in if I can. Let's 
you can use um, all sorts of colours really for beads but pony beads are the best ones for this now well, that one hasn't caught might have to use a little bit more sellotape to catch it flame me up today there we go caught it so what you need to do is just pull pull it back and then it'll let the, the bead go over into the ribbon again that's one's come out again so If you prefer, just put some more sellotape on. It's not a problem. So there's our first beads. But usually with a lot of dummy beads, you could come to here with all of your beads. But for this, this demonstration, I'm not going to do that because I want to show you quickly the end, the end result. So now I'm going to do the name, which is Rosie Ann. I'll get the beads offline. I'm going to need to put some sellotape on. Okay. Yeah, I'll get my beads offline. Um, they're quite easier to get. They do them in bulk, and it's um, it's a lot cheaper as well. So we'll try again now with this one. Now I'm having trouble. to get it over that bulk bit come on twist it over it should uh... there we go that's a little bit um, tight you don't have to use this length of ribbon if you don't want to you use what's best for you like I've said in previous videos, it's your project. You do what's easier for you. Um, everybody's different. So there we go. I got that one through. Pull that one back and then pull the ribbon tight and then the, you can push the letter. Because I put two lots of sellotape onto it, that's what it is, it's, it's bulked it up a little bit. So now I've almost finished the first name. Now I'm going to use a different colour. I don't want to use the white now. I'm changing my mind. Um, I'm going to use a nice yellow. That should stand out better. I would think between the names. And then we have. Um, 
Okay. Beginning to cooperate with me today now. And finally, we've got the the final letter. And there we have it. Okay, now to secure it, I'm going to put another knot in to secure the beads. We don't want them coming off. Just try and push that knot there. I'm going to do another knot just to make sure on top of the knot I've already done. Just to... Okay, and then we've got all of this left, so I can get ready to cut it off. I'm going to cut the little bit at the end off there with the sellotape, because these are the clips. Now, this is a metal one, but you can actually get um, some plastic ones. And again, I got them offline from an auction site. And uh, they do vary in sizes, packs, and depending on what you want. So I'm going to thread one part of the ribbon through the all of the clip. And then I'm going to tie it. tight as I can and do it in a knot again and then I'm going to trim off the excess ribbon and then normally you can go get a lighter or little match and um, just to secure the ends to stop them fraying or you can put on a little bit of glue clear glue and there you have it your dummy clip okay guys there you have it your own dummy clip thank you for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up That'd be fabulous. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.